one of the things we do here at Sci-Fi Saturday Night is we talk. Sometimes we talk with artists, sometimes we talk with creators, sometimes we talk with writers like Chris Philbrook here. Chris, Hello. welcome to the show. Talk to us about Adrian's Undead Diary. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, AUD, it's always good to be had. Yeah, always. <laughs> well, I mean, exactly. relatively speaking, unless you're like deliverance style. Um, AUD was a story that I started writing um, more or less on a dare. Um, one of my best friends is floating around here somewhere, uh, has been trying to get me to write something in the zombie genre for years. Um, so I sat down one night and basically hashed out a story that I thought would amuse him. Uh, wrote the first 35 or 40 pages. Uh, he said he's going to make a website and post it to the world. I had absolutely said that was a terrible idea, and he did it anyway. Um, so the first day we had 23 visitors to the website and 444 hits. Uh, six months later, we had about five or 600 visitors a day. Um, I wound up getting a recommendation from several other authors and wound up getting picked up by a publishing company, and now it's one of the highest-rated post-apocalyptic stories on Amazon. Talk about the story itself, the setting, what it's about. So the main idea is it's written in um, first-person format. Uh, the main character is a guy named Adrian Ring. Uh, he's sort of a, when the book picks up, he's sort of a doing-nothing kind of a character. Um, he's got a you know, middle-of-the-road job. He just graduated with a, a degree that he does not really want. Um, he's in a relationship that he doesn't really know what he's doing with. Uh, and then the world comes abruptly to an end uh, via you know, zombie apocalypse. Um, and he's not prepared, has no idea what he's doing, um, and decides to hole up where he works at a private school. Um, so he heads up to the school, and the, the beginning of the story is him figuring out a way to make it safe. Um, and then from there, that becomes his base of operations where he uh, begins to reestablish some semblance of a normal life. For at least him. Exactly. And, I mean, normal when the whole world is falling apart is very relative. <laughs> so, uh, But it's very popular. It's done very well for him. So how many books are in the series thus far? Uh, seven are out. Uh, eight are planned in the series. Uh, the eighth book is called Cassie. Um, which, if you read the story, is very relevant to, uh, you know, what's going on. Uh, book 8 is slated for release, hopefully, uh, mid to late October. Uh, and then I have, I have announced that there's going to be a new trilogy um, that's going to come out probably, I'm hopeful, for January or February for the first book in the series. And that will actually take place in the wake of the aftermath of book 8. Somebody seems obsessed with the end of the world. I think it's you. It's probably a good thing. It's given you eight books and now a new trilogy. Chris, thank you for joining us. Pleasure. Take care. Appreciate it.